Good morning guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. I hope you guys are having a great day or already had a great day. Um, right now I'm kind of in a hurry because I gotta meet up with uh, Victor, my photographer. He's a really cool guy, he takes pictures of all my cars, but we're not really gonna take pictures. We're actually gonna go ahead and make a really cool cinematic video for you guys. And in the process, as you guys read in the title above, we're gonna ask him some questions on how to make us better, like us that just take normal pictures. Some tips that can help us take better pictures of our cars and things like that, so. Stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and head over there because I'm kind of late. And we made it. Alright guys, so Vic and I were talking about fixing my headlights because as you guys know they're like horrible on this car. So we're going to see what we're going to do but now we're going to go ahead and head to the spot. It's already kind of late. So yeah. Dang it, I couldn't record it but there was a 370 right next to me and the color was like a... It was like a really dark red. It's like a wine red. I really like the color in 370s. Just, just wanted to let you guys know that. There's Vic right ahead of me. We're almost at the spot, I think. We have like a couple minutes left. Hopefully we find it though. We don't really 100% know where it is. So, yeah, that, that's that. Boys, look at this clean 350Z. I actually really like it a lot. That was clean. <laughs> he said, what's up? That was a really clean 350. idea where Vic brought me. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Dude, what's going on here? What did you bring me? What? What, what did you bring me? There's like, what is this? This is a hidden spot. <laughs> that no one knows about. <laughs> I can tell. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. He's set up right now for the first part of the shoot. That would be so funny right now if me like looking at the camera I see running over. <laughs> I'm gonna stop filming. Alright guys, so... Look at this, there's like nothing around here. This is awesome, this is really cool. But we just set up the car for the first shoot, for the first part of the shoot actually. For the first spot, and there she is, boys. That looks super cool, super, super cool. What is that called, the gimbal? This is, uh, this is that's with the, DG, the DGI running Dang, running. dude. That is awesome, bro. Yep. So you wanna tell us real quick before you give us the tips, what camera are you using? Uh, I'm using a uh, headset, so the Canon of 6D. Uh, and it's also currently on a on a AS50. Uh, I think it's a um, AS50 F uh, 1.8. 51.8. That's yeah. the lens, right? Yeah. So that one's not even that expensive, right? No, that one's. Uh, I think it's like a hundred dollars. Yeah, so that one's really it's, good. It's not even that expensive. So yeah. Look how awesome this looks from here. It's like just her over there. This is awesome, guys. And it's like zoomed in all the way wide angle lens so you guys can't really see very close. Alright, so I'm trying to be really not annoying but let's let's get this in the block for you guys. It's like super sunny right now to come like all the way over here but if you guys don't already follow me on my Instagram, guys, what are you doing? Like, go ahead and give your boy a follow. <laughs> Z34 underscore Lean. Go ahead and follow me, guys. But also, most importantly, big shout out to Vic. And go ahead and follow him on Instagram, guys. His Instagram is Victor1800S. And he has another one that's Vic Films. I'm going to put both of them up here. And his YouTube is going to be down in the link in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and watch the full video, I'm probably going to upload it after this vlog. But also, go ahead and watch it on his channel. So, yeah. You no, know, it'll be so funny if I start vlogging with this setup like that. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the funniest thing ever. I'm just like holding two things on my head. Oh, what's going on, guys? And everything looks like super smooth. Just moving around. That'll be funny. This is what most videographers do right here. Look, they right. stand in grass and they do a video. And this is how you get awesome shots. Really? Stay in the middle of the forest. I do like these shots though. Where it's like grass in between and then he just goes right to the car. Gotta hurry and give a hat. Dude. This sun is killing me. I can't take it. There you go. Honestly guys, I really don't know what I'm doing. I think to help him out, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video we're filming right now. I think it should be up on the channel right now. Or it might be up 
the day after this video is uploaded. And just go ahead and follow him on go follow him on on Instagram and YouTube and all that guys, please. I mean he's huge shout out to him. He's done literally every single one of my video shoots and on um, photography. Like he's a really cool, really cool guy. And super talented too. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow him. But yeah, make sure you guys watch the other video and let me know what you guys think. Turn it around, back, back all the way go back, back over there. And then slowly come in. Come in and then turn on my lights. Yeah. Then where's the part that I'm gonna be turning my car on? Huh? Did he say I was gonna turn on my car? Wait, okay. Uh so okay. Second that you get to the middle, turn it on. Turn you them turn on. them on, you pop it in neutral, and then you rev up a little bit, okay? Okay. Yeah? Okay, all right, got it. <laughs> Damn, here's my uh, my crappy Jeep. Uh, it's got a hole in the hood because I'm a badass. That flyby was super fun. Oh, smoke bombs? Really? Dang, yeah, that would have been cool for the car. Yeah, that Now it's just in the grass, guys. Oh, yeah, and something I want to tell Vake. As you guys saw, there was a 350 that, that um, stood right next to me, and he said if I knew him, because he said hi to me, for the Z fam. We're probably like the coolest and closest community out there. Nah, bro, the Jeep community is the best community. <laughs> the Jeep community? <laughs> nah, but seriously, like Z's compared to like no, 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 no. everything else, we're like always say hi to one another, even if we don't know one another. <laughs> well, yeah, that was pretty cool. And something I really noticed while driving Brittany. Every time I'm like banging gears going really fast, the transmission's like, I feel like my transmission's like about to give out. It's really bad. It like grinds. That's what happens if you buy a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, transmission's not very good right now. That's why I don't really got, like going fast or make a lot of POV going fast videos, guys, because every time I go from like first to second or just like banging gear, especially second gear, when I go first to second, it's really bad. It like grinds it, it doesn't it grinds but it still goes into gear it's bad yeah so that's something i want to share with you guys how you have to take care of your equipment guys <laughs> that's so funny strapped in bro that's oh that's why you didn't want it in the trunk <laughs> yeah. he's moving the car over here so we can do the part of the video you guys have been waiting for what would you guys think if i go stradman on britney sorry if i go like stradman on britney and put a ski box like his on britney just, just right here just imagine britney with a ski box on the top should i do it should i not so, the part of the video of you bros I've been waiting for, so. Hi, how are you? Vic over here, I told you guys to follow him on Instagram already and everything, I'll put his Instagram over here. Right here. Three tips that could really help us, just regular car guys that have a cool camera, or even an iPhone, to take better pictures of the car. Just like, normal things that a photographer would yeah. do. So is it only for photography or also videos? Videos, photography, whatever you All right. can help. All right, uh, so three simple tips, right? Uh, so try uh, some new, new angles, because most people, who take pictures to take pictures from the top or or from the side you know there's different angles you can try so if you want to you can put your camera you know really really down low by the ground uh, so that way you get the ground the foreground in the car and stuff uh, so there's there's some nice uh, shots of the wheels you can get you know uh, and stuff like that here's another tip uh, uh, so don't don't be scared to use your camera at night because yeah most cameras aren't meant for nighttime but they can work with what yeah. you have because most most photographers think oh I have to I have to go out and buy a five thousand dollar camera or a six thousand dollar camera no you don't have to like he uses uh, yeah it, it's like a five hundred dollar camera my camera's like six five hundred dollars it, it, it's, it's like five hundred dollars and yeah. he uses it for vlogs and it comes out really good right really good really yeah. good quality so you don't uh, need best quality yeah so you don't need to spend a thousand two three thousand dollars for a camera just because you want to be like other photographers in my opinion a photographer is a photographer. They have their own style of editing. They have their own angles. They have the way they take shots, uh, the way the way they edit them, etc., etc., etc. Like, like that's my main tip to you because most people think have to go out and uh, so ask a photographer. Oh, uh, so how do, how do I how do I edit photos? How do I do this? How do I do that? No, you have to you have to learn by yourself. You have yeah. to learn how to do your own photography because he does his vlogs now, and I didn't teach him anything, right? YouTube. That's how you learn, guys. You want to do you a learn cool from transition YouTube. or anything, just YouTube it. Yeah, exactly. It's not uh, that hard. So that's like my main few tips. And then one other tip is to always stay motivated. Yeah. Because there are some times when I do photography and I go months without 
posting or doing shoots mainly because I don't feel like I'm good enough. Yeah. Uh, so that's just one thing. Uh, you guys just got to stay motivated with photography, with videography, with all that stuff. So hopefully it works out for you guys. And that was just my helpful tip for you guys. All right. All right. Helpful good. tips with Vic. <laughs> yeah. okay, so quick recap. The first tip you gave was different angles. Be creative. Yeah. Don't just stick to the regular in front of the car or like that like make some creative angles and you're gonna you're gonna be surprised by how cool your car is gonna come out yeah second tip was do your own editing be like yeah just do your own things you don't have to ask a photographer you don't need need the best equipment etc and third tip was to stay motivated and just keep trying because some shots aren't gonna come really good but then the next shot's gonna be like way better and you're gonna learn along the way literally go watch my first vlog it's not like photography wise but just go go watch my first vlog guys yeah, I guess I wasn't filming when he said it, but looks like Vic is gonna do a burnout on the gravel or peel off. I don't know, but I'm just gonna record. Front wheel drive. Oh, your car's front wheel drive? Yeah. You think it was four wheel? It, it's front wheel drive. Look at it. Look at the shit. What? He's out. Alright, boys, now let's go ahead and look how thick and meaty these tires are. Holy crap. You guys gonna see that? I think I'm gonna go 305s, which is even a lot more meaty. Anyways, 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 let's go ahead and head home. Okay guys, so on my way home, definitely those pulls did something to the Z. That's why I never like going fast, because I know there's something wrong. Either with the throttle bodies or with the transmission. The transmission is definitely something wrong with it. I've known that since I first got it, but it was just not, every time I like downshift, he like went like, whoom, instead of just whoom, pop, pop, pop. So definitely something might be wrong with the thr throttle bodies or something there probably look at it later I don't know we'll see but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that video um shout out to Vic make sure you guys go ahead and follow him really cool guy I hope you guys like those tips for photography and I also showed you like kind of behind the scenes of how it's all done uh, with that said make sure you guys subscribe We're almost at 10,000 thank you guys so much for that and I hope you guys enjoy the rims and really like them and how the car looks now and yeah with that said share with your friends your family everybody and that um, is like everything the video if you enjoyed make sure you guys life. let me know in the comments below if those tips help you at all no and yeah we'll see you guys next time